So we started talking about the idea that there's often more than one system going. So we were often thinking about these sort of combinations of different systems. Uh, so let's imagine for a moment that we've got uh, our supply air and that's coming down, say, through the light fixture here. So we have uh, supply air coming through that. We've got return air going up through plenum over here. And maybe we've got a little radiator system over here. It's, let's say it's a hot water pipe with some fin tubes around it. And we've got uh, maybe also a light shelf there. And that light shelf is going to help us with sunlight that is going to, in the summer, when we don't want any more solar gain, that high summer sun is gonna go right on by our window, but in the lower winter sun is gonna bounce the sun right into our space and get that natural light bouncing deep into the space. But intriguingly, it's going to have left its solar gain out here on that uh, shelf. So we're not getting all that solar gain, which in the winter is sort of not great, but we have the rest of that solar gain coming right underneath there. So the fact that we have a shelf there is gonna give us natural light, uh, but it'll take away some of the solar gain. That's great uh, when the summer is there. We don't want, we want the natural light, but we don't want the solar gain. And we lose some of the solar gain in the winter, but uh, in, we still get below that element uh, in, in the winter, we get that solar gain coming through. So here's a system where we've got multiple ways that sunlight is coming in and impacting our, 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 our space through the natural light, through solar gain, bringing in heat energy. We've got a sort of wash in the winter of hot air coming up uh, from underneath the window. Uh, why do we have hot air rising when that's a radiator? Well, because cold air from the floor is coming down underneath and it's going to go underneath that spot and get close to that hot water pipe and it's going to warm up and it's going to create that convective current in front of this window and that's going to do a couple of different things. One thing it's going to do is it's going to uh, create a, a barrier, as I was saying earlier, it's gonna create a barrier between uh, the body, the person, and the window, which is the second body. So this body here and that body there will want to trade energy with each other through radiation. And uh, in the case of the winter, that window is gonna be cold, and so therefore the uh, person is gonna be the warm body, giving off its heat energy to that cold body of the window. So that convective current is going to help uh, dampen that. It's going to help dampen that connection. The other thing it's going to do is that uh, window is cold and the air inside is relatively humid. Uh, you know, people are breathing and making coffee and doing whatever it is they're doing in the office. Uh, and so moisture is being generated uh, in the space. And so you have a relatively high uh, humidity level compared to the outside in the middle of winter. Uh, I have a relatively high humidity level in that office. And so as I have the air that goes over next to that window, as the air gets cold next to the window, because the window is cold, uh, it will eventually get to the spot where it can't hold the same quantity of moisture in it and it will leave condensate behind. So you'll start seeing that the windows will get covered in condensate to the point that it makes it hard to actually see out those windows and it can uh, start causing a lot of damage in terms of rot and damage to drywall and all of those kinds of things and rust uh, in the window systems. Uh, so having this little baseboard system here below that window will, as I said, not only make the person feel uh, sort of better because they're not radiating all their heat to the cold window, but it's also creating a flow of air that's going to start picking up some of that moisture. They have this nice warm air that is going to go by all of that moisture, and that warm air has the ability to hold more moisture in it, so it's going to grab that air, grab that moisture as it goes by. So we will be reducing all of those problems of the condensate uh, on the glass uh, by having that, that little animal there of that uh, baseboard heating. Uh, so that uh, baseboard heater is doing a lot of work uh, in terms of 
kind of creating this convective element that's going to deal with the window, but it's also potentially creating, you know, a nice little heat energy coming to the person as well. So there's a radiant aspect there that's uh, out radiating the window because the window is cold. Uh, so the body is radiating to the window, but here the radiator is radiating to the body. So it's going to sort of uh, out radiate the, that window situation and going to create a quite a lovely warm heat uh, in that space. Would we not want to have the air system going? No, of course we'd still add that in as well because for one, we want to get the fresh air that we're going to get by mixing in uh, a little bit of outside air into our return system. So we're going to constantly be bringing in fresh air into the space and that air is going to be sort of flowing in and in the winter that air will come down and then it'll, it'll try to blow it down, but it'll sort of fall back up towards the top a little bit. And eventually it'll find its way out through that hole in the ceiling. And it'll then eventually find its way to the return system over there. Uh, so air is flowing through. We're getting fresh air into the space, nice warm air. Uh, the floor is a little cold, uh, but that radiator is helping. Uh, the fact that cold air, when it gets down to the floor, starts getting pulled over to the radiator. Uh, so you're kind of constantly taking that, what would be the coldest air in the room, and bringing it over to warm it up. And so that's kind of creating this sort of very slow convective current that's going to be bringing at least some percentage of that air uh, back through. So it won't get super cold down at your feet because of that uh, current that starts going around. Uh, so you have a lot of different things happening just because we have a couple of different systems combining together. This isn't 10 systems. This is just a little simple radiator, a light shelf, and a regular air-based system. This is a, quite a common thing to have in uh, any sort of uh, uh, office setting. If we flipped it around and thought about it from the uh, summer standpoint, uh, that summer standpoint, I'm blocking the solar gain coming from the sun. I'm still getting quite a bit of that natural daylight coming in through that uh, system, uh, but I'm not getting the solar gain. Uh, I'm putting the air conditioning out by the edge. Uh, that air conditioning is going to want to fall. Uh, unlike the hot air in the winter, it's going to want to fall in the summer. So it's going to fall right down over the, uh, over the window. Uh, that process of having that air flowing over that window is going to be very similar to what we had going in the winter with that uh, baseboard heater. Uh, so I'm going to have a wash of air going over that window uh, and creating a sort of a convective blanket between uh, the person and the window. Uh, and it will create a sort of slow, it flows down across the window and then as it comes uh, down and cools off over here, uh, it uh, eventually starts to warm up because the people are warm, the computers are warm, all that and it'll start to flow upwards. And so we're creating a convective current going the opposite way in the summer than we had in the winter. And then it's finding that return system going up into the plenum and finding its way over to the uh, return duct. And then to get mixed with some fresh air, come back through. So uh, these multiple systems kind of doing everything they need to do. One works with the other. They kind of feed off of each other and you get this air movement in the space so you don't get really cold spots or really hot spots. Uh, and it's sort of pushing everything uh, all the way through. Uh, the whole point here is that uh, you get comfort levels for the people. So they uh, have the benefits of having these big windows, but uh, not the problems of losing heat to those in the uh, winter and having uh, too much solar gain in the summer. Uh, so you're trying to find ways that each of these individual uh, choices combines together to make a sort of comfortable and better whole.